Hey guys, so today I am here with my May monthly favorites for you guys. I don't have that many beauty favorites this month, and I think I have like a few random favorites as well, so this video shouldn't be too, too long. I do want to let you guys know I'm still a little congested, I'm still a little sick, haven't been able to fight it off too much, I've been trying, it just hasn't been working, so if I still sound a little congested, it's because I'm still sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started then with my beauty favorites for you guys. I'll start with hair first instead of makeup. I have two hair favorites this month and I actually mentioned both of these in my May haul so you may or may not have already kind of like heard me talk about them a little bit. The first is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Not just this rich and elegant paisley scent or whatever but just the Batiste Dry Shampoo in general. It is literally amazing. I've had this bottle for about two weeks I'm down to here. Like, I've used so much of it. I have liked it so, so much. Like, it's probably the best dry shampoo I've ever used. It really helps get rid of, like, that greasy, oily feeling that my hair gets after a few days. And it just makes my hair feel really, like, fluffy. Like, my hair today is, oh, gross. It's probably, like, four days old because I really haven't been washing my hair because I, I've been working. But, um, so I've been just using this. And my hair doesn't look bad. It looks, like, freshly washed and... I don't know, like it still looks good. So I've really been owing it to the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I think it's amazing. If you have yet to try it and you are in need of a new dry shampoo, I highly suggest it. I got mine at Ulta and I love it. I think it's amazing. My next hair favorite this month is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. Uh, for those of you that watched my haul, you probably expected this. I love this deep repair mask, this deep conditioning mask. I've used this before, about a year ago, and I loved it so, so much, so I knew I had to repurchase it when I got back to an Ulta, and it's just, oh, it's amazing. It literally does so much good things to my hair. Like, the bottoms of my hair feel so silky, so healthy. I do it about once a week on my hair, because I hardly even wash my hair anyway. So I do it about once a week on my hair, and it just, it makes my hair feel so good and I just I love it it makes my hair still feel healthy there's really no damage and it's helping because you know I do bleach my roots now I used to bleach my whole head but I do bleach my roots now and it's just so damaging so that really really helps kind of repair and help with the damage it doesn't get rid of it completely but it helps it and I just I love it I have three makeup favorites for you this month I will start with face the first is the covergirl outlast stay fabulous three-in-one foundation I got this a while ago, a couple months ago, and I've been using it non-stop this month. I want to tell you at least every single day I've been using this foundation. It's amazing. I, I've been using high-end foundations for about a year now, and I really like them, don't get me wrong, but this was the first drugstore foundation that I had purchased uh, for in about a year, and I love it. It's amazing. It's full coverage. I'm wearing it today, and it gives me like really nice full coverage like it looks good it looks like a high-end foundation does and I really really like it my caps a little broken that's why it does that um, the shade I'm in is 810 classic ivory and I just really really like this if you're looking to try a new foundation and you're on a budget I highly suggest this covergirl one it's it's amazing. Uh, CoverGirl was the first brand I ever used for foundation when I first started wearing makeup so I don't know why I ever strayed from them but I love it. It's really, really nice. That's bothering me. My next favorite is something that I've had for a very long time, and I just recently started using it again. I almost dropped it. I just recently started using it again, and it's something that I've just been using every single day, and it's my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. This palette is, you know, I used to only use it for, like, a certain look because I felt like I could only do, like, a certain matte look with it all the time but lately I've just been using it with like any eyeshadow that I own like sometimes I'll use like steal a kitten and I'll put one of these colors in the crease uh, which is what I did today or sometimes I'll just use like the original naked palette or the naked 2 or the naked 3 whatever and I use a few of these shades to kind of blend it out and I just never thought like I don't know why it never crossed my mind that these shades are perfect for like blending for highlighting just like the basics for the eye like you know the Anastasia contour kit this is like the contour kit for your eyes like it's amazing I love it so much I use a lot of naked too for blending that's probably my favorite one to use uh, foxy a lot too as well as walk of shame faint and crave not so much when I'm doing deeper looks I'll use it to kind of like blend everything but it's just 
an amazing palette. If you own it and you feel like you just haven't been using it a lot, just try using it with other shadows in your collection and I think you'll end up really, really liking it again because I am, I just, I love this palette. I think it's probably the best basic palette to have. Then my last beauty favorite this month is the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I do like all of the NYX Butter Glosses, but this one I had to choose over the other two that I have because I've used it the mostest. It's these butter glosses are just so nice, so creamy. I have it on today, and it just looks so pretty. And surprisingly, this is the only lip gloss I own that lasts for a very, very long time. Like, this will last me, like, two, three hours if I'm not, like, eating or anything. Um, they smell really good. Believe it or not, I can't smell still, but... I know they smell good, and I just like the colors. I like the pigmentation. They're very opaque, which is really nice for a lip gloss. Like, you could totally wear it by itself, but it's also just really, really nice. So I definitely want to purchase more of these um, just to try other colors, but creme brulee is, is my fave. I love this one. Now on to my random favorites this month. I have a couple or a few, actually, because I do have a favorite song as well. Uh, my first random favorite this month is the app Clash of Clans. I know I'm pretty late on that. I guess Clash of Clans has been around for a very, very long time, but Brian's little brother, Jason, has been playing it for like a year, I guess, and he told Brian and I that we should both download it. So Brian and I downloaded it on like the same night, and we've just been like doing it together. And, well, not together, but like seeing how far, I don't know, it's like a competition, whatever. But I have really been enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. It's very like strategic, and I've really been enjoying kind of being strategic about it. Um, I really like it. I'm in like a clan with like a bunch of my friends, and and I just, I really like it. It's a really fun game. It's very addicting. It's, you know, I kind of push Candy Crush to the side and haven't really been playing Candy Crush as much, uh, which is sad because I've been playing that for like two years. But um, I really like Clash of Clans. If you haven't downloaded it yet, which I'm sure a lot of you probably already have, uh, download it. It's a lot of fun. It's free and I don't know. It's just, it's something that I really like doing in my spare time, I guess. Another random favorite this month is, I don't know if this can be considered a favorite. I just want to talk about it because I haven't officially, like, talked about it on my main channel yet. This channel, I've talked about it on my weekly vlog channel with Brian, but I just haven't really brought it up. So a favorite of mine this month is my new job. I did get a new job. A lot of you are still asking me why I don't work at Sephora anymore, and that's because my job at Sephora was in California, and I don't live in California anymore. I live in North Carolina, and there is no Sephora in my area, so unfortunately I couldn't work at Sephora. And of course I miss it, but I do have a new job. I've been searching for a job for like months, and I'm so happy I finally got one. And I work at a Barnes & Noble. I work in the cafe specifically, so I'm basically a barista. It's a lot of fun. I really like it. Um, I've officially been there for about a month now, and it's really fast-paced. Um, even if there's no one in the cafe, like you're still like running to get stuff done. Like There's tons of stuff you have to do during the day, and of course, you know, if there's customers in there, it's nuts. But I really like it because it is fast paced, so I'm constantly doing stuff. Uh, time goes by very, very fast, and I really enjoy making drinks. It's like a lot of fun. Like, okay, frappuccinos are a pain in my butt, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I used to order a frappuccino all the time, and now I feel really bad when I order one because they are like the worst drinks to make. They take so much time, they're so time consuming, like I hate them. I love making hot drinks. But um, yeah, I love working there, I love the bake case, I just love the atmosphere, I love the people I work with. Like, I like working there because I work at a Barnes & Noble, so I also work with booksellers. And like, they're so like intelligent and like book savvy, and like, our break room is so interesting because like everyone's talking about a new book, and I just, I don't know, I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun, and it's definitely been a good experience for me, and it's definitely a favorite of mine this month. I've been working my booty off there, and... I really, really like it, so thumbs up to me. Another random favorite this month is my favorite song of the month. Last month I started doing my favorite song of the month. This one is very mainstream, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, I knew about her for years, blah, blah, blah. My favorite song of the month is Fancy by Iggy Azalea. I just recently heard of Iggy Azalea. I, I knew she existed, but I never listened to like any of her songs. Like I was just kind of like, eh. But I know she's been around for a while, but the song Fancy and then Problem with Ariana Grande came out and, you know, she's kind of just been blowing up. And I really like that song. That song is so catchy and, I don't know, I really like it. I like the music video for it because I love Clueless. Clueless is one of my favorite movies. So if you 
If you live under a rock and you haven't heard the song Fancy by Iggy Azalea, I will put it in the description for you to listen to uh, because I really, really like it. Then I guess my last random favorite of the month, I was going to start doing random TV show favorites of the month, but I haven't really been like varying my TV show schedule. Like I'm still watching 16 and Pregnant. Uh, the new season of Bad Girls Club started this month, so I've been watching that. Uh, but I really haven't been varying. I started watching Dance Moms again. But that's pretty much been the only shows I've been watching and Game of Thrones, of course. So, I really don't have like a new favorite TV show to tell you guys about. But I do want to thank you guys for all of your suggestions for all the shows on Netflix. Like, I literally have a list of shows on Netflix I'm going to watch. Like, I have a list of them. So, try not to give me any more suggestions. I promise you I'm watching a ton of them. Um, I'm watching, like, The Office, Charmed. Bob's Burgers right now and then I'm gonna turn it over when I finish one of those to like Once Upon a Time, Supernatural, something crazy, Grey's Anatomy, maybe, I don't know, Desperate Housewives, I'm in the mood. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this May favorites video. Please subscribe to me if you're not already. Hopefully I'm not sick in the next video. Please subscribe to me if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!